on Fox 47 News. Claire, will we be needing to thaw out like the turkey uh, this Thanksgiving? I think we might actually, and you know, if you turkey was in the freezer, you could probably just stick it outside and let it defrost <laughs> there because it's plenty cold and unfortunately we're going to be staying that way as we head throughout pretty much the rest of the upcoming week. Highs for today were a little bit warmer than what we saw yesterday, but still well below average for this time of the year. We saw highs mainly in the upper 30s. 37 was the high in Lansing, 36 was the high in Mason. You actually reached a high of 40 degrees though in Marshall. Temperatures right now though, it's a much different story. A lot of us are dropping down into the upper 20s and lower 30s. 29 your current temperature if you're heading out tonight in Lansing. It's currently 31 degrees in Jackson. 31 also your current temperature in Adrian. Very cold. 26 if you're heading out the door in Ann Arbor. 25 in Charlotte. 30 degrees your current temperature tonight in Mason. Now, as we head overnight, we are expecting lows to drop down into the middle 20s. And as we head towards Monday, expect more of what we saw for today. Highs reach the middle and the upper 30s across the region, which is about 10 degrees below average for where we should be this time of the year. Now we're dealing with the cold, but thankfully not the snow. We saw some that earlier this morning that is long gone. We are dry and will stay that way as we head throughout the overnight hours and for most of the daytime hours for tomorrow. Now we do notice this cold front to our north. This is going to drop south as we head Monday night into Tuesday and it will be enough to spark at least some scattered light snow. But the real impact from this cold front will be those colder temperatures as we head towards Tuesday. Highs will struggle to even reach the lower 30s. So your future track for tonight, we don't really have too much to worry about, and that will be true as we head towards Monday as well. Maybe some cloud cover, and that's really going to be about it. We'll call it mostly cloudy for tomorrow, and again, during the daytime hours, you're not going to have to worry about any snow. We are going to be dry all the way through the day. It's not until Monday evening. That's when that cool front starts to work its way south, and then Monday night will be followed by some scattered snow. Now, it's not going to be a lot. I don't expect much more than a dusting, if anything, from this system as it moves through Monday night into Tuesday morning. We'll see some of that snow linger as late as about sunrise on Tuesday, so around 7 o'clock. But then after that, we could quickly clear out, giving way to partly to mostly sunny skies as we head towards Tuesday afternoon. The one catches Tuesday is going to be very cold. We're talking highs that may not even reach freezing, so into the lower 30s. For tonight, a low of about 25 degrees with partly cloudy skies, otherwise quiet and cold. And our 1-800 Hansen's kid is Lexi. She is age 5 from Hazlitt. For Monday, expect a high of 37 degrees with mostly cloudy skies. We'll see some snow, but most of that will hold off until later on Monday evening. Here's a look at the seven day forecast. And again, Tuesday, the coldest day of the upcoming work week with a high of only 31 degrees. See some snow in the morning, but then we're dry after that. Overall, Thanksgiving doesn't look too bad. Now it's definitely chilly. Highs only reach into the lower, or excuse me, the middle 30s, but there will be plenty of sunshine. So, you know, there's that to be thankful for. And mm -hmm. as we head towards Friday, yes. we do warm back up. Highs return to the middle 40s for next weekend. Should uh, learn a thing or two from Lexi there. She was yeah. all bu bundled up. Yes, you definitely <laughs> need the coat and the hat and all that for the upcoming week. Yeah. <laughs> all right, thank you. Uh, tonight's Pump Patrol.